folks, Pastor Rocky Branch. Hope you're doing great today. You know, I've been gone for a week up into the mountains of Spruce Pine. Saw a lot of old friends. Got to preach the gospel at uh, two of my favorite churches, Chestnut Grove, of which we served back in the early 80s, and then at Alta Pass Baptist, of which I have a lot of history there. Got to see old friends, and that was so good. Also, got to work on the house, as some of you have seen the pictures. This house is Janice's mother's home place, her and her, her and her dad. We bought this after her mother passed away. Her dad had been passed for 30 years now. And we're trying to remodel that thing and get it back in a kind of a working order here. So it's a pretty big chore as we're trying to learn as we go along. My sister, Linda, and my brother-in-law, Sid, are such a great help to us. We thank God for that. We thank God for you and your prayers. You know, as we deal with life and situations as they come up, we have to be ready to be spontaneous. Now, some people are just kind of in a low-gear mode. They don't really look around to see much that's going on. They don't try to strive for advancement of anything. And yet, what happens to us is that we miss the parade as it comes by. Let me ask you this morning, how ready are you on this Sunday morning to receive what God has for you? Now, God has something for us every day and every night and every time in between. God loves his children, and he promised that he would take care of us. But how willing and how ready are you to change the direction that you're going in to find the direction that he is going in? You know, the book of Amos says something very wonderful in Amos chapter 3 and verse 3. It says, can two walk together except they agree? Well, no, they cannot. And of course, the idea here is that the agreement is going in the same direction. Sometimes we head in one direction and God is going in another direction and we think we're going right. Listen to me now. We think we're going right because we're not doing anything morally or ethically wrong. Well, that doesn't mean you're in the will of God because you're not doing anything morally or ethically wrong. You can do something spiritually wrong. You can be as clean as a hound's tooth and still be wrong. You see, the will of God, the Bible says, there is peace that passeth all understanding. Now, not lethargic peace where you just kind of lay down and don't care, but as you are laboring for the master, advancing the kingdom of God, there's a peace that comes over you even in the midst of trials. It's been testified years and years and years and years of thousands of people that have faced trials and had inner peace. So it doesn't mean that there's not conflict. It doesn't mean that there's not challenges in life. You and I are faced with a very important decision that we walk in the direction that God, listen to this, that God is leading. The Bible says in Psalms 23, one of our favorite passages, of course, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He leadeth me. Now let me ask you a question. Are you in front of the shepherd? If you're in front of the shepherd, he's not leading you. You have to be behind him to be led. And as a result of that, your direction may be in the idea in your mind of the right way, but it may not line up with the entire, listen to this, with the entirety of the Word of God. It has to line up with all of it. Not a portion of it, but the entirety of the Word of God. And God gives peace where He guides, He provides, and He will help you through all things. So today is a challenging opportunity, whether you watch this in the morning or midday or at night, today is still a challenging situation, an opportunity that we might walk in the will of God and the direction of God. You remember the ox goad that you would see, you know, the, the, uh, the uh, ox harness that would go around the neck, the yoke? You had two oxen together and that big stick of wood there was cut out to form around the ox neck that they might walk together, you see. Well, you see, the Bible says that Jesus will carry our burden, our yoke. He will carry that. He will carry the problems for us if we will walk with him. It could be that we desire to walk with him, but we're doing something different. Well, here's my dear wife calling because I left early this morning and she's wondering if I'm okay. I'm going to take care of this because I need to walk in step with her. You take care of you. We'll be back with you later. God bless you. We love you. And goodbye.